Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Kickin' Bass TV. Today's video, first ice fishing trip of the season up at Lost Lake with my homie Jesse, getting into some brook trout. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's go. guys first week in november 2022 today we're out trying to get on some early ice and generally this time of year you got to get up around 10,000 feet elevation to find it even then it's not a guarantee you can carry all that gear two to three hours through the woods only to find you've still got open water when you arrive to your lake because things like extremely high winds and fluctuating temps can break up that early ice in a heartbeat but we decided to take our chances today headed up to one of my favorite spots to chase early ice and that's up at lost lake it can be a bit of a hike but a lot of cool things to see a along the way me and the homie jesse who's a long time subscriber to the channel decided to head up even though we both almost died because we're a couple of out of shape old dudes and it's definitely getting harder every year still managed to make it up there if you're like us and you've been itching to get out since last season there's nothing more rewarding than putting the work into that hike getting up there finding that you got a freshly frozen lake Ended up getting on the lake right around 10 a.m., which meant we missed most of the morning bite, but still didn't do too bad considering. And it didn't take very long at all to get the first fish of the year through the ice, which was this beautiful brook trout here. Love the color and pattern on these fish. That's why they're some of my favorite species to catch. And although these high elevation, smaller bodies of water, you typically don't see the same size you do in other lakes. This is a very decent sized fish, at least lengthwise great start to the year so got that one back out in the water from there it was off to the races in between filming product promos and everything else i was doing jesse ended up doubling my numbers ticket today was a tungsten jig just tipped with a live waxy or an artificial plastic i was doing pretty good on the reds and the whites or the natural larva color artificials but anything outside of that when i would throw a pink green chartreuse they just weren't responding as much but as you can see pretty much right on the drop with any of those other colors and they were coming up and just smacking them like this one did here this was a female that happened to be carrying eggs at the time which a lot of them will be this time of year so you do want to be mindful when handling them that you don't force those eggs out like i just did here it's not a huge deal whenever it happens i try to just utilize those eggs for bait and get that fish back out in the water as soon as possible Ended up using a few of those eggs to tip this tungsten jig and less than a minute later had an absolute monster trout on the line. Definitely going to be submitting this one to IGFA for a possible world record. Till then, you guys will have to stay tuned for the results of that. But in the meantime, the homie Jesse's still over there putting numbers on the board. Quality size to this one, a lot more meat on the bones. Probably one of the best catches of the day. This one not far behind it. So all in all, pretty decent day. Like I said, these smaller lakes, higher elevation, typically don't have a lot of growth and size or numbers. But we did pretty well today. This is usually the case up here, especially early in the season when they haven't seen a lot of pressure. All right, guys, so as you can see right here, really nice color that these brook trout get. These bright, vivid oranges, yellows, and those spec patterns are just awesome on them. So we'll let this one go, see what else we can get into. Both managed to get into a decent amount of fish today. This nice size female, super skinny though, having probably just laid her eggs in the last few days. In case you guys are wondering, brooks and browns tend to spawn in the autumn, whereas rainbow and cutthroat will spawn in the spring. As I said, it can be a difficult hike depending on how much gear you're carrying, how good a shape you're in. But if I can make it, so can you. Definitely worth getting out on some early ice, catching some of these beautiful brook trout up at elevation. After that, as you can see, the snow started to pick up. And now that we've lost an additional hour of daylight with the clocks having rolled back this morning, it's going to start getting dark around 5.30. So around 4.30, we decided it'd probably be best to start making the trip down. It did take a little bit more than an hour to get down, so we ended up hiking through about 15, 20 minutes of total darkness which I definitely don't recommend if it's your first time here and you're not familiar with surroundings because you do need to be aware of things like wildlife in the vicinity as well. But had a great first trip out on the ice for the year. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Until next time, I'm D with Kickin' Bass TV. Subscribe!